Oh no. What's up guys? Hope you're doing well in quarantine. I'm here with beach volleyball senior. Maddie Yeoman. <laughs> and today she's gonna be teaching me how to cook crepes um, virtually over Zoom because she has started an Instagram TV series where she teaches recipes for anyone who follows her. So we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, what do I need for crepes? So you need two eggs. Okay. Um, milk, flour, and butter. I'm using a blender, so mine's just going in the blender. Okay. This isn't the most precise. A half a cup of milk, and this is also a half a cup of water. Got it, I got it, where is my milk? So that goes in. I feel like this is gonna be really hard. They're easier than you think. Okay, I think my ratio is a little bit off, but that's fine. Everything just goes in the thing, basically. Well, crepes is almost like baking. Except I, you can be less precise with them. Well, that's good. They just, oh god, there's shell in here. So butter, it's two tablespoons. Does it matter, salted or unsalted? I don't know why I asked this because I don't know if this is salted or not. Okay, so then we're gonna cut this. This is the bread now. <laughs> and so now we're just gonna mix it up. So this is how mine ended up. It's very watery. Now we're gonna take our berries. Oh. Make our compost. Okay. This basket of blueberries, and I'm yeah. just gonna add like. So you put them in the batter? Oh no! Sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't sorry. do that. I didn't do that. It's okay. <laughs> um, I have my saucepan. Oh okay. So now I'm breaking down. So. Okay. Ooh. One or two tablespoons of water. Okay. In the pot? In the saucepan, yeah. In the saucepan. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon. And then if you have, if you wanna add sugar, um, you can, but like obviously berries have their own sugar. Okay. So I'm just gonna add a couple spoonfuls. Okay. Okay, cool. We ready for crepes? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna pour our crepes in. I don't have a delicate hand though. Yeah. Oh jeez. I feel like mine's a little thick. Like it looks like a pancake. <laughs> if the batter is too thick, you can always add more water or milk. Yeah, you know what? It might have been my ratio. I think my ratio is a little bit off, but that's fine. I'm pretty excited about this compote too. And just you can keep like a little eye on it, but it really is like uh, pretty on its own. Mm -hmm. it doesn't need too much. I like that about it. Yeah. I had to pick my favorite quality of a compote is that it's, it's on its own. <laughs> it's independence. Have you ever done a thing where you like flip it? Like like this? Like with the pan? Yeah. I've tried. I can try again today if you want. I think you should. Okay. I'll do it on my third one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> if we're gonna do this flippy thing. It's just going straight up! <laughs> I literally have no idea how to even like approach this. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> that's the most exciting thing that's happened in the week. Okay, do you think I can flip this one? That's the whole pan. Yes. Okay. That was so complicated. <laughs> oh, no. Got it. Yeah, I'm going for it. This one, I feel it. Oh. Feels it. Oh my god. <laughs> like, how do you know what it's done? <laughs> it looks like this stuff when you get like a pre made parfait at the study. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, okay. Sick. What's like the hardest thing you've ever made? So, the whole bread thing, you know, everybody's making bread. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, me and my boyfriend were making like sourdough starter. Mm -hmm. And um, we. I've been seeing like all these videos like, oh, don't throw out your sour sourdough starter, like use it to make like all these different things. 
I made like these like little pancake things. Mm -hmm. and I put like salt and pepper on them. He's like, oh, this is like too peppery. He's like, I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Like, it's not too peppery, you're fine. And I'm like, wait, I might throw up too. It turns out that you're not supposed to eat sourdough starter, like when it's too young. <laughs> Apparently it has like bad bacteria or something. Yeah. So yeah, we like basically- So it wasn't the pepper, it wasn't your cooking. It, was it just wasn't the pepper, it was just, we gave ourselves food poisoning basically. <laughs> I can tell that hers are the proper amount of thinness and mine is like a pancake, but <laughs> I also put chocolate chips on mine. Mmm. <laughs> Honestly, better than I thought it was gonna taste. That's good. Okay, well, Maddie, thank you so much for doing this with me and with all the people watching. Do you have anything you wanna sign off with? What would be like your goodbye if you were on a cooking show? Um, just thanks for watching. <laughs> you don't need a like, comment, or <laughs> you need to from me yeah. <laughs> like comment and subscribe okay we'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs>